Coming up on 943 with the heat on its way, it is obviously summer, meaning it's actually the perfect time to check out campuses and their surrounding areas. Researching a potential school is easy, but what you really want to explore is the environment and what it has to offer outside the campus. Here to share more on why summer is the height of opportunity is Jordan Smith from Visit Bloomington. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate yeah. your time. It's great Let's, to be back. No problem. Let's talk about Bloomington. It has so much to offer. Absolutely. Everything that you want and need in a college town, we have it right here in Bloomington. All kinds of things to see and do. It's a great time for uh, students to come by, check out the university with their parents, see the limestone structures, learn about the history of the university. Uh, we're doing new student orientation right now until the end of July, so it's a great time to come by, check it out, especially if they are going to be enrolling. So uh, you definitely want to do that. We have great basketball programs, sports programs in general, great arts, uh, theater, as well as uh, a medical program as well. It's, it's a great university for, for to be considered. So if you're a parent out there and you have your kid and you, you come to Bloomington, they're like, what is there to do off campus, outside of campus? Of course, uh, with Visit Bloomington, that's, that's our goal is to see what's outside of campus. And for the summer, it's a great time to come by. It's rather quiet. A lot of students are... Uh, back home for the summer so it's a great time to actually just do your summer vacation here there's so much to see and do for one uh we have a our mu this is kickoff of our music season actually so right now we're preparing for our switchyard thursday night concert series at switchyard park uh that is, the first one is actually june 20th and that will be hosting the tune yards and ila bamba our second one is next month in july 18th with Lindsay lou and torres those are absolutely free free okay. admission free parking Food trucks will be there, there'll be water services, beer garden, everything. It'll be a whole lot of fun. You definitely want to check that out. Sounds fun. The area is also rich in culture and Absolutely. entertainment. I mean, you can't say enough about the area. You just have to visit there and see it for yourself. And Absolutely. Some of the things you have to really look nooks and crannies to find. Absolutely, and some of those things are actually right on campus. We have two state-of-the-art uh, art galleries, really. One is at the Eskenazi Museum of oh, nice. Art. Yeah, it's right there on campus, and uh, so that you can find artifacts, historical artifacts and modern from all over the world, as well as some art uh, uh, paintings from Jackson Pollock, Claude Monet, even a Pablo Picasso, and right across from it is the Lilly Library, and that one's really neat. More hands-on experience there. Uh, I saw a, a first of, of an original New Testament from the Gutenberg Bible okay. is there, the first folio of William Shakespeare. Uh, I even got to hold a book that was owned by uh, the last queen of France oh, as wow. well. So that was really neat back during the French Revolution. It even hold an Oscar trophy from the Grapes of Wrath that won Best Director or that's, Best Picture. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> so it is Talk really about neat. an experience there. Now think about this, okay, the summer months versus the fall mm -hmm. months. Parents thinking, okay, if I want to leave my kid in Bloomington for the summer, is I can do that. There are things for them to do. Absolutely. Is it much different than in the fall? Uh, the, yeah, I mean, well, the fall we get the foliage and stuff, and of course kids yeah. are back to school, so it's a little more crowded. Uh, but in the summer, like I said before, a lot more easygoing, a lot more downtime, relaxing, peaceful experience. We have amazing lake life. We have three man-made lakes there as well. One is Monroe Lake, the largest lake in Indiana. Big Over lake. 10,000 acres of water there. A great place to boat, fish, uh, 11 hiking trails right there as well. Griffey Lake, uh, that's a great place for some non-motorized uh, boating like kayaking, uh, canoeing and such, and of course Lake Lemon, probably my favorite place to go swimming as well. It's a little more secluded up there, like in the uh, in the northern part of the county. So great place to go outside. A lot, as I said before, a lot of hiking trails, walking trails. We're a big active community, biking as well. And of course, restaurants, over 350 amazing eateries, uh, world-class wineries, distilleries, literally anything you can find right there in Bloomington, peaceful, time this time of year. Jordan Smith, Visit Bloomington. Thanks as always for stopping by, seeing us this morning. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. To learn more about what Bloomington, Indiana has to offer, you can head to our website, fox59.com links for more details there. Tyler?